Hello and welcome to the first half of Inkscape for CNC. This tutorial will cover getting started with Inkscape and the basics of converting an image to a vector format for use with laser cutters, pen plotters, or other CNC devices. To download Inkscape, go to inkscape.org. The download bar can be found in the upper right hand corner. You'll want to download and install Inkscape to your hard drive. In the left hand column you'll find many other resources, including a number of other useful tutorials. Use these in case you ever get stuck. When you open Inkscape you'll get a screen that looks something like this, with an area to work with in the center, and toolbars along the top and sides of your screen. I like to think in terms of inches, but the default setting is in pixels in Inkscape. So to change this, go to File, Document Properties, and change the default units from pixels to inches in the upper right hand corner. While we're here, take a look at some of the other options available to us. We can change the paper size or create a custom width and height for our image. You'll notice we now have inches indicated along the top and sidebar rulers. Now we're ready to find an image to convert to a vector file. I like to start by going to Google's advanced image search. Let's search for my favorite comic book character, Tintin. The nice thing about Google Advanced Image Search is that you can search for specific file types. So we're going to search for Tintin under the specific file type of .svg. That way, if we find a file, we can begin working with it directly rather than converting another file to the vector format that we need. Looking at the results, I don't see any Tintin images that I'd be interested in using. So we're going to go back to the Google Advanced Image Search. And this time, we're going to change our file type to any file type, but select the color in the image to black and white only. Black and white only images convert to vector types much easier than color images. There's a much better selection here of images that we can use. I like the one in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to select that one and copy and paste that to our Inkscape document. Now that the image is in our document, uh, you'll notice that we can move it around simply by clicking on it and dragging it. And we're ready to convert this image to a vector format. Do this by going to Path, then Trace Bitmap to open up the Trace Bitmap window. And we're going to experiment with various thresholds of brightness cutoff. So, Let's uh, start by entering a threshold of 0.4 and clicking update and you'll see a preview in the window here to the right. And we'll go ahead and select OK and that will overlay our vector image over our original image. I'll drag it off here to the side and you'll notice that uh, we could probably adjust the threshold a little bit better so as not to get that uh, pixelation in Tintin's hair. So we're going to go back and change our threshold to 0.7 and update. You'll see a preview there. I'm going to click OK anyways and then drag our next image off to the right here so that you can see that we still haven't hit it on the button. Now his cheek is a bit 
pixelated. So we're going to go back and change our threshold to 0.6 and select OK. And that will overlay our next image. And you'll see that by bracketing, we've come up with a pretty good conversion uh, to our .svg format. I'm going to delete these conversions that we don't need. And then we'll look at how the laser cutter, pen plotter, or other CNC device will view our vector image. Unless those CNC devices have a raster mode, they will only be able to plot the outlines that make up the image. To see these, go to View, Display Mode, Outline. This will cause our original image to appear as a crossed out box. But our converted image will show the individual lines that make up each vector within the image. I'm going to go ahead and delete our original image and then resize our document by going to File, Document Properties, Resize Page to Content, and then adding a small margin to each side of our new vector image. With our document resized, we're ready to continue editing our image or saving it and sending it to our CNC device. To zoom in or out, use the center mouse wheel or use the zoom controls in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Thanks for watching the first half of Inkscape for CNC.